ATP I have and this is for GFR. Okay, so we'll exit this. Uh, let's see the processing of a DTP renogram. In renogram, we had to select the pre syringe, then posterior dynamic, injection site, and empty are the post syringe data set. And use a renal analysis. application so here we have to enter the study information in the kidney state select two kidneys radio pharmaceuticals you can select from the mac3 dtp or oih let's see dtp and you have to complete other informations here then click ok here you can see the automatic ROIs has already been drawn and that we can modify clicking on the modify option. So let's select the kidney function right and then draw ROI. Select manual option. Now you can see there is no ROI on the right side and if you want to change the color to be displayed in different color and then start drawing the ROI. So you can draw the ROI step by step or you can draw continuous moment and right click and complete. Then click proceed similarly uh, left side draw manual. complete and click proceed now you if you want to modify the background ROIs you have to click on the background and then left background draw ROI and you can draw a crescent shape background ROI similarly on the right side and click proceed aorta so you have to just position this box ROI on the aorta to get the aorta curve and then click proceed here you can see the perfusion graph and this cortical clearance graph and click the next option camera based clearance processing once you click there you can see the pre syringe counts if you see any contamination that can be excluded using modifying this ROI and this one if no contamination no need to modify and then proceed and you can see some quantitative values here and click on the review tab with the renogram QC you can see the perfusion graph and the perfusion dynamic similarly you can see the function of QC that is the cortical uh, cine view and the cortical graph then click back if you want to see only the dynamic images you can click on the dynamic images review and here you have the option to uh, modify the time frame time like 2 minutes initial of 2 minutes you have different options to be selected this you can change the color if you want g color linear color if you select all option you can change the color simultaneously then renogram review and finally clinical summary so this is the final result page you can see on the top we can see the cortical graph which is 2 seconds per frame and these are the cortical uh, curves uh, sorry perfusion curves and then you can see the 15 second per frame and this cortical graph 
you can see the GFR in the ML per minute. Then scale GFR you will get if the patient is, is above 20 and below, six, below 60. And that is the age range of 20 to 60 only this scale G, uh, GFR is available. And you can see the other parameters of the left and right kidney. So that's all. This is the simple and processing of the for giving the printing the same steps will be there. Yes. So printing, if you want to give like a white background and uh, uh, black and white picture or color picture, if you want to give a color picture but white background, then uh, you have to select white background option here. So it will remain the color picture only, but the background will change to white. Save and can we save it as a template? Like we wanted to uh, make it for every time it should paint like this only. So can we save it as a template? Yes. So you have to, uh, for example, if you want to say like an inverse way, uh, then uh, you in initially create all the uh, image on the screen and modify this these options, and then here is your option to save it. Yeah, so you can create your own uh, this thing. So if you want to print it, select the printer here and then save it. And you can give a na some new name and save it. So next time when you want to give the print directly, you have to select that option which you have saved that will appear here. Select that and save it, uh, print it. Uh, it was not saved. It will be saved. So, if you, uh, for example, you want, want to save as an inverse by default. So, select uh, you want to give, for example, Windows printer. Okay, Windows printer inverse, and this this top, this you want to save as a uh, template. So, click here and give a complete new name, my template. Okay, and save it. So no space here. So just remove the uh, underscore. You can keep right. Then that you can see this. So whenever you want to print, just uh, select my temp here and then click print. It will directly print with these parameters inverse and top okay so this way you can create different uh, templates or different studies like thyroid may have different settings uh, parathyroid may have different settings layout will also be the same or it, it is the same. layout will change according to only the colors okay. will the okay. color and uh, background all that uh, will be like this what was information you? panel can also be modified like Suppose you want a GFR a little below, put some more images. Can it be modified or it will remain same? It uh, yeah, that can be done, but that is a tedious process. Actually, uh, we have to go into the the software file. There we can modify it and save it. So, for example, that we have done already for the pre syringe and post syringe. Like in this image, you can't see the pre syringe and post syringe option. Now, if you want pre and post syringe here. In this area, we have created a different renal analysis here, this one. Okay. So, this is after modification, we have saved it. And in this, if you process, you can see the, you can get the pre-syringe and post-syringe area. I will just quickly process it. So, this is automatic done. I will just show you. So, uh, here you can see the spaces. So, if you have taken the picture of the pre-wide and post-wide, it will be displayed in these boxes. What so, here this is a GFR study, so that's why you can't see the pre-wide and post-wide option I'm images sure. there. Okay. Otherwise, if you have taken the uh, in the scan, it will be displayed there. Okay. So, can we have a look how that page has been modified? Yes. Yes. So, this is basically a system software. So, in the system software, we do not change. So, this is the Aladdin based application where you can modify and save it. So, I will just show you quickly. 
uh, how to modify in that. So we have to go to the my PC D drive Einstein Einstein user then Q protocols. So these are the Aladdin based uh, applications which you can modify. The system application you cannot modify but here this is the renal analysis too. If you go there you can see uh, multiple files but this is the EBS file is basically the uh, main algorithm file. This one you can open and see the text format of the application which is written. So in this there will be uh, uh, the options you can modify like font, so control F for example font. Or so here you have to actually it's a big algorithm you have to find out where exactly uh, that algorithm is which corresponds to that uh, area. For example, three wide. So basically, a little bit of coding skills will be required. Yeah, coding skill will be required. Exactly, I can't locate at this time because it's uh, yeah, I mean big, big, big text file. So where exactly it is, we have to. There are some RT files also, for example, okay, EBS is here also. Okay, for this we can have actually a separate session. No problem. Okay. So there are different EBS files. We have to look in each where it is exactly, and uh, then we can modify it. Uh, you can modify. There will be a space option, so you can just modify the space number. Then accordingly, these displays will shift. Uh, from their display areas. Thank you so much. Thank you.